Hey guys, this is part 9 of the Java game programming tutorial. In this video I'm going to finish up the power up class and integrate it into the game. So let's open that up, powerup.java. Uh, we're all done with that actually, so open up gamepanel.java. Now here we need to add player power up collision. I'm going to use the same collision algorithm that I've used before, which means we need three things, x, y, and r. So that, py is player.gety, ooh, can't type, and pr, player.getr. Now we need to loop through all of the power-ups, size, plus, plus, and power-up key. Equal to power ups get i. And now we need x power uh, p dot get x. Y is p dot get y, and r is p dot get r. Now we need dx is px minus x, dy is py minus y, and the distance formula dx times dx plus dy times dy and now here we have actually collected it power up if dist is less than the radii then we have collected it and we're gonna do a couple of things um, first we need to remove the power up or that should go last remove power up so power ups dot remove i and then i minus minus the first thing we need to do though is get the type so p dot get type now we need to handle the type type equals one this is the extra life so we're gonna do player dot gain life we don't have that function yet so let's go ahead into player dot java right next to lose life let's add that in public void gain life this is just going to be lives plus plus very simple and we have two more types if type is equal to two and if type is equal to three two is increased by one and three is increased by two we don't have a power up system for the player yet but we're gonna create that now so here type is 2 is increased power by 1 and type is 3 increased power by 2 so go back here in player um, we're gonna need to set up our power system so in the fields create a new field here private int power level we also need power and Actually, this is going to be uh, an array. This is going to be required power. And I'm going to set it right now. Uh, we'll start off small, one, two, three, four, five. So my power up system goes like this. It's going to be um, the player collects power. And once the player has enough power, he gains a power level. And power gets reset. So pretty much that. So we need the function public void um, increase power by some amount i, so power plus equals i. Now we need to check if we have enough power to get to the next level. If power is greater than or equal to the required power of the current level, then we want to subtract that amount that we went over by and increase the level. So that's cool. Let me just get and create some getters here. Um, get power level. This return power level. Public int get power. Return power and one more public int get required power. Um, this is just going to return the required power for the current level just like that cool so let's
find out if this is actually working. I'm gonna go up here to where we created the power ups. Chance for power up. And I am going to make sure that a extra life power up drops here. So compile and run. Let's see if we actually gain some lives. And we do gain lives. Awesome. Now we are going to test whether or not we gain some actual bullet power ups. But before we do that, we can't really tell right now if we're getting any power ups because we have no graphical representation for it. So in game render, we're going to go ahead and draw some stuff. Here we have draw player lives, but now we are going to have draw player power. So here I have this idea where we have like a, a bunch of boxes that show how much power we currently have. So we're going to do that for, actually we're going to set the color first to yellow, same color as the bullet. And we're going to fill a rectangle at position 2040, should be fine. And get power, and then times 8 by 8, so 8 by 8 boxes. And we're going to set the color to darker yellow, and... Um, we're going to set the stroke to 2, actually, and then we're going to reset it back to 1 afterwards. Here we are going to use a loop to actually create a bunch of boxes. So, i is less than player dot get required power, i plus plus. Here we're going to draw rectangle um, at position 20, like up here, but plus 8 times i, so however many boxes we need, 8 by 8 boxes. So that should be it for that, let's go ahead and compile and run, and we have a box, let's see if it works. Collect, turns into two boxes, collect, fills up. Three boxes now, fill up, and a big one, okay, so it looks like it's working, so the power up box here fills up, so we are getting power ups, but the problem is this thing, where the power ups don't really matter if we keep shooting with that pea shooter. So here, back in player.java, in update, this is our fire firing code. Um, we're going to have to modify this. So here, elapse, in this if statement, we are allowed to fire. So what we do here is, before firing, we check our current power level. If power level, level is 0, then we're going to use our pea shooter. Um, if power level is equal to... Actually, we're going to use a bunch of different levels. So less than 2, we're going to use the pea shooter. If it's less than 4, um, we're going to use like a double pea shooter. So two of these x plus 5, x minus 5, <laughs> double pea shooter, um, and the rest of it, I guess, we're going to be creating a 3, a spray, basically. Um, so this is plus 5, and then 270 goes this way, so this is like 275, and this should be 265. So let's see if that's working. More bullets. So, oof, that's not good. Bullet, if parallels to, oh, else. Here, don't forget the else. If, else, if, else. That's the entire ladder. So we start off with our pea shooter. And then once we reach level 2, we should get the double. Nice. 
which once we reach level four we should get the spray oh yeah look at that spray cool so that's it for the leveling of the player I'm gonna go ahead and um, I still have a lot of time here so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create some extra enemies I mean the blue ones are eh so I'm gonna go into enemy.java and I'm gonna do create some other enemies in the constructor default enemy is type 1 um, stronger and faster default um, this is gonna be type 2 so color is gonna be red this time if rank is equal to 1 I'm only gonna be doing rank 1 enemies so far so speed I said it was gonna be a little bit faster um, so the default enemy speed is 2 this one's gonna be 3 radius is still 5 health this one's gonna have 2 health so a little bit stronger and let's have a slow but hard to kill enemy next so if type is equal to 3 let's make the color green so now we have the three main colors RGB if rank is equal to 1 um, we're gonna set the speed to <coughs> excuse me 1.5 radius is still 5 and health is gonna be 5 lots of health so now we have two new enemies back in game panel java create new enemies wave number one two wave number three let's bring out some new enemies let's create four new red enemies so this is enemy of type two let's also create four new type three enemies let's see how that works out okay so we got that wave one wave two wave three oh yeah look at that those are awesome so those guys are kinda hard to kill okay very cool very cool stuff alright um, this video is actually coming to a close soon um, and also the game is coming to an end soon so um, the next video will probably be the last video all I will do in that video is just um, final touches to make the game more visually appealing I guess and I'm just gonna set up a few more waves and uh, extra enemy types so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one